Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can see, I'm in the office. Um, life has been a little bit hectic lately um, since my husband had to get a second job and stuff. Um, so I have to make up a couple of hours on Sundays. Um, I've been doing it. This is like the second Sunday that I've been doing it. Anyways, it's um quiet, which is a plus. Um, I I don't know. Just wanted to get some thoughts out of my system. Marriage is not easy. Marriage is not easy, and nobody ever said that it was going to be easy. Living with a person that clearly no matter how many years you know them and um, no matter how much time you guys spend together you know you never get to know them fully and completely um, people evolve people change every day is something different um, people also said that people also say that the first two years of a marriage are the hardest ones um, are the craziest ones um, because of course now you have to basically um, not deal with this person that sounds really bad but but more like it's that thing it's that that signature is that those vows um until death do us part in sickness and in health and all of that stuff that changes people say that that it doesn't but it does i've learned and i was that person that says that it changes you but that it doesn't change that it does not change you as a person but it does it does um it's the vows it's the the whole um um marriage thing and what it means to be married and um it's just everything that goes with it i i am i've been married this is my third time being married my first time did not work um i got cheated on but who has not um and i made a decision that i will not stick with a man that stay by a man that um, disrespects me in that in that sense. Um, my second marriage it did not work because headspace we were in two different worlds. Um, um, not gonna say he was a bad person because he was not, but headspace we were different. I wanted things a certain way and he wanted things uh, his way did it work out and um, we decided that it was the best thing to do um, now on my second marriage now um, things have been rocky ups and downs you know we are very different me and my husband are very different um, I might seem like a very confrontational person. Um, I am very hard-headed, very strong-minded, very, um, you know, I'm not going to let another man F with me um, type of person, you know. And, of course, my, my other relationships had messed me up <laughs> in my head. So, of course, trusting issues are... are a plus or something that it's it's going on um and it's been going on for a minute um so that's one of them second it's like you know i the type of person that i don't like to argue i'm not saying i'm perfect I'm not perfect and of course I'm going to do things and I've done things that that are not correct you know and and I understand that 
but I am more in the, since I don't like to argue, I am more in the, um, let's talk about it, let's talk to me, let me know what I'm doing wrong so I can fix it, um, call me out in the moment so things don't, you know, get out of hand, um, I like those things because I don't like to argue. Arguments lead to other things that are that are horrible, like disrespecting each other um, with words, with um, mainly words. Forget physical. I'm not saying my husband has hit me because that has never happened. We wouldn't be together if that was the case. Um, but like words words is like the the worstest thing ever um and since you have your ego and the other person has their ego and especially mainly women like me that are more like ballsy more like like yeah i'm not gonna back down you know i'm trying to work on that not to be not to be so on the defense um because i tend to um, whenever I'm in an argument or whatever and I feel cornered, I feel like I have to defend myself. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only person. I feel like if you're coming for me, I have to come for you. Um, and, and of course, that's not mature. Of course, that's not the right way. Of course, that's going about it completely different because you're supposed to respect each other, you know, and, and, and if you are hothead just remove yourself from the situation until you're able to come to it together and talk about it um but in the heat of the moment you don't think about those things and and words just start flying and things just start happening and i'm more of the type of person that i'm like you know this 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 and 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 if the things don't happen the way that i want them to then we have a problem you know I am guilty on not taking in consideration the way that my mate feels. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't want to cry. I'm trying to keep it together. Not sad. I'm not crying because I'm sad. I'm not crying because my marriage is on the verge of this being destroyed. No. It's because when you have to look back at the things you've done and the things you've said and and you have you know and you reflect on it and you know that you were wrong you know it, it it makes you a little emotional well it makes me a little emotional because the last thing that i want is to is to have an argument about something so ridiculous, something that could have been avoided by just sitting down and talking like two humans. You know, like respecting each other. And that's my main thing. I don't like to argue and cuss at each other and, 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 and throw low blows and nothing like that. But of course, I am guilty of being that wife that, you know, in order for you to hear me, then I got to hit you with, with, a one-two punch you know I'm guilty of that I'm not saying I'm proud you know because I'm not but I'm the type that will go real low um, and then realize like wow you know I could have just kept that to myself but in the moment I felt like I needed to say it because I was being attacked that's the way I look at it which I shouldn't and I know that you know I love my husband and I'll do anything that it takes to to continue to grow with him and continue to do things correctly and and you know we are new to this game so and I'm saying we're new to this game I know I've been married this is my third time but I'm still new at this I'm still new at being a wife um, being being the wife you know the let's sit down let's talk because in my family Nobody ever talked. Nobody said, you know, hey, let's sit down and talk and let's say, why did you do this? No. In my family, it was more like bam, 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 punches, you know, physically abused. And then 
as you're physically abusing me, not with the chancleta and a lot of people out there that have been whooped, no. Um, then as you're getting whooped, it's more like, I told you not to, bit. and with every single word, you're getting a, a hit with the, with the cable box cable. You know, and, and, you know, there was no talking about it. Afterwards, there was no talking about it. So I don't know. I'm learning as I go. You know, I'm human. I, I'm going to mess up. I'm going to do things the wrong way. But guess what? That's the beauty. That's the beauty of it. You have to, sometimes you're going to do things wrong in order for you to learn from your mistakes sometimes for some people it's a little bit late and for other people it's just the right time you know i i have to i have to learn you know the re one, the number one reason why marriages don't last or marriages are broken or whatever the case may be is communication communication and respect I'm not saying I'm this big time counselor, this know-it-all. No, but I have experience, and I see the experience in my my closest friends and 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 family members and stuff. It's communication and respect. If you don't have communication and respect, there's no there's no relationship, none, zero, nothing. You can love this man until you turn purple and 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 die. If there is no no respect and no communication communication sorry the spanish came out of me <laughs> if there's no communication for each other there's nothing those vows don't mean nothing those rings don't mean nothing that paper don't mean nothing actually nothing means nothing you know so we have to work us ladies that are strong headed you know if something doesn't work for you it doesn't work for you you know I don't care if you've been with this man for 15, 20, 30, 40 years. If there's no communication, if there's no respect, then you continuously being disrespected, even on the men's side too, you know, then why why continue to to stay in, in a relationship that things are going to continue to be the way that they are? Why? There's, you know... You know, and, and people might say, oh, yeah, and, and sex, sex is necessary. Most definitely is necessary, you know, because this is, you know, it's physical. This it's your body and your body has, you know, situations where it asks you for and, and it's necessary. But if there's no if there's good sex and no communication, no respect then where is everything going to go? You know? I mean, where is everything going to end up at? <laughs> Nowhere. Nowhere. So, I just needed to make this video. You know, I just needed to make this video and speak my mind about marriage. And, and to let you guys out there know that I understand. I understand but if you love somebody and you don't see yourself without this person waking up in the morning and seeing their face if you don't see yourself without this person in the future then you do something about it you fight if it's worth it you fight you fight until there's no more fighting in you. But the other person has to fight too. You know, you can't keep a person that does not want to be with you with you. You just can't. No matter how many positions you show him that you've learned new. No matter if you cut your hair, if you lose the weight, if you color your hair, if you didn't shave before and now you shaved, if you didn't wear makeup before and now you do. Um... If you perfected your speaking, uh, your language, and it, you know what I'm saying? None of that. When a person does not want to be with you, they don't want to be with you. Period. Period. There's got to be. There's got to be something. 
we're fighting for. Thank you so much for listening. Until next time. I love you, baby.